Hi friends, my name is Akil Ahmed and in this particular video tutorial, I will show you how to consume web service from csharp.net. So this is my profile. I have 13 plus years of experience on Microsoft technologies. So the agenda of today's video tutorial is how to consume web service from csharp.net. So let's jump to the demo. I got a public web service calculator and the URL is this one dneonline.com slash calculator.asmx so I will share this link in the description of the video so that maybe you can use it in your project as well for testing purpose so this particular web service contains four methods add method, divide method, multiply and subtract method so you can call these methods from a c sharp.net program you can call the web service and then you can get the result as well so in my last video I have shown you how you can use web service tasks in SSIS to call a web service and in this video I will show you how you can call the web service from a C sharp.net program so let me just open a C sharp.net application so let me open the visual studio 2019 and then let me create a new project here so I will select this one console app.net framework and I will call it like consume web service and then I will click on create so this should create a console app so the console app has been created and now to call the web service what you need to do you need to right click on the references and click on add service reference and now you can copy the URL of the web service from here I can copy from here and then I can paste the URL here paste and then I can click on go so if you click on this services and click on calculator soap so you can see the four methods here which the web service contains and you can give the namespace some name so I will give the name as calculator and now I can click ok so as soon as I will click on ok you can see that the connected services is the calculator one here and now in the public wide main function you can call the web service so what I need to do I need to write calculator dot calculator so client client equal to new calculator so client and then you need to type semicolon here so this is just one line of code that you need to write and now you should be able to get the methods from the client for example if you write client dot then you can see all the methods like add method and then divide method multiply method all methods you can see okay so for example let me declare a few variables like int a comma b comma c okay so for example if i need to call the multiply method then it requires two inputs like number a and the number b and then we can get the results in number c for example let me call the multiply method client dot multiply and then i can pass the parameters like a comma b okay now I'm passing the values a and b but before passing the values a and b we need to assign some value to the a and b so for example I can give value 5 to the a and then I can give value maybe 6 to b int variable so I gave a value 5 to a int variable then I gave a value 6 to the b int variable and now the result of this one client dot multiply method if you want the results in the C so you can write like C equal to now what will happen that the result of this multiply method will be assigned to the int variable C okay and now for example I want to write this particular output into a text file so what I need to do so there is a couple of lines of code so let me just copy this one from here and I can paste it here so what exactly we are doing here we are just creating a file and then writing something to it so click on show potential fixes and we can use system.io here so that we can use the stream writer class now for example if I want to create a file here in the D files location so I can copy the location from here and uh, I can paste the location here and then I want to write into a result.txt file so I want to create this file so you can see that we, we got some error kind of error here so, so to get rid of this error what you need to do you need to write at the rate so if you put at the rate then what it will do it will create a file here in the d files location it will create a result.txt file and then if you want to write something to this file so what I want to do I want to actually write the result 
of C, just write whatever the result will be there. The result will be written to result.txt file. Okay. So now let me click on start button so that the console application can be called and the result.txt file can be created. So a result.txt file should have created. So you can see that the result.txt file has been created here and the value in this particular file should be 5 into 6 30. So the result should be 30 here. So you can see that this is good. So you can call any methods. For example, let me call uh, add method here. Okay. So now the values will be combined. So the result should be 5 plus 6 11. So this is how you can call any method and you can get the data in a text file. So now the result should be 11 here. Okay. So if you want to call this from an SSIS package, then you, what you can do, you can create a console app and then you can call the exe file of console app from an SSIS package. What you need to do, you can just right click on the project and click on rebuild. So this should create a exe file. So you can go to the open containing folder and then you can go inside bin and you can go inside debug. So this is the exe file that you can call from the SSIS package and then it can call this whole web service task and it can generate a file. For example, I can just delete this particular file from here. Okay. And now what I can do, I can just call this particular web service. So let me copy the path from here. So I copied the path from here and then in the SSIS package, what I can do, I can just drag and drop the execute process task into the control flow window. And now I can just configure the execute process task. So if you click on the process, so in the executables, you just need to browse the executable that you want to call. So I can paste the path to here and I can click on open. So this is the exe file consumer web service. So I can click open and then I can click OK. So now if you will click on the start button, then what the SSIS package will do, it will call the exe file that was generated from the c -sharp console app and then it will create the a result.txt file and then the result should be 11 because right now that we are just combining two values 5 plus 6 so let me go to the d files location and you can see that a result.txt file got created here and if you open the file so you should see the value 11 here so this is how you can call a web service from a c sharp.net application and then you can also call that c sharp.net application from an ssis package using the execute process task so I think that's it for today's video. Thank you guys for watching the video and if you like the video then please click the like button. Do subscribe to our channel, press the bell icon and click on all so that you will be notified every time I upload a new video. Thank you so much.